amusement parks. There's supposed to be places of fun, laughter, and amusement. A place to make lifelong memories. But when these theme parks shut down and became abandoned, they became the perfect setting for the worst kinds of nightmares. These five creepy abandoned theme parks are sure to send shivers down your spine. The Ghost Town in the Sky Ghost Town in the Sky is located in Maggie Valley, North Carolina, built in 1961. This Wild West theme park was designed to look like an old western ghost town from the movies, which is pretty ironic given the current state that it's in. The park was on top of a mountain on 250 acres of land. They had a giant roller coaster, different rides, and even had live Wild West shows to entertain visitors. Most impressive, however, was that you needed a 3,370 feet chairlift to carry you to the top of the mountain in order to access the park. Unfortunately, the chairlift was one of the main reasons for this theme park's demise. Maintaining all of those unique features became increasingly expensive, and if that wasn't enough, it felt like the park was cursed with bad luck to begin with. In 2013, a man was mysteriously shot with a real bullet during a fake gunshot reenactment. Incidents of mudslides made the park dangerous and virtually impossible to access. There were rumors that the park would once open again in 2022, but in true ghost town fashion, the owner of the park, Ms. Alaska Presley, passed away in April 2022. So far, there are no plans to open up the ghost town. If you ever decide to visit the ghost town in the sky, perhaps you might find the ghost of Miss Presley strolling about the park she so dearly loved. Next on our list, we have Williams Grove Amusement Park, located just outside Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. The park opened its doors in 1850 and finally closed its gates in 2005. That's 155 years since it's been in operation. Just keep in mind that this amusement park has made it through two world wars and the Great Depression. The park almost didn't make it through the winds and floods of Hurricane Agnes in 1972. The park would continue to operate and change with the times, adding new rides and attractions as the years went by. In 2005, the owners gave up on the park and they would no longer be willing to put in the time and money to maintain the park, which required constant renovations. The owners preferred to focus their attention on Williams Grove Speedways, leaving the amusement park sad and abandoned. The park is now vandalized regularly, and the old wooden roller coaster tracks lay rotten and fall to the ground, completing the look of a true abandoned amusement park. Six Flags, New Orleans. If you're living in the United States, Canada, or Mexico, then you may have heard of an amusement park called Six Flags. Six Flags itself is home to many of the rides and top coasters in North America. However, the Six Flags in New Orleans, Louisiana is a different story. If you've ever been to a Six Flags amusement park, you know that this place is massive. They pull out all of the stops with huge roller coasters, restaurants, and carnival booths. On August 29, 2005, New Orleans was ravaged by Hurricane Katrina, and like most of the city, Six Flags was demolished within hours. In what seemed like a blink of an eye, the park went from joyous delight to a carcass of what it once was. Over the years, it has been used as a movie set for films like Jurassic Park but there are no plans to return it to its former glory. Due to drainage issues, the park stayed flooded beneath four to seven feet of water for over a month after the hurricane. You can imagine all the creatures that festered in those waters, such as alligators, snakes, and even dangerous snapping turtles. Plenty of them are still there, and who knows what else. Maybe that's why the park is heavily guarded with high fences and security cameras. Or maybe something else more sinister lurks within the swamps that was once Six Flags. Pripyat Amusement Park 
We find ourselves in Ukraine, at the amusement park that never was. On April 26, 1986, just five days before the opening of the park, disaster struck in Pripyat, a horrific event that would cause the entire city to be abandoned even until today. Near the amusement park was the Chernobyl nuclear facility, and on that fateful day, the plant exploded, killing 30 people and injuring countless residents. Dangerous radiation continued to harm those exposed months into the future. The Ferris wheel, that didn't even have one passenger, still looms over the city as a constant reminder that our fate can change in an instant. Gulliver's Kingdom Amusement Park This amusement park was creepy from the very beginning. Built near Mount Fuji in Japan, it was never a big hit to begin with. Even the location was a disaster. The park was built near what the locals called Suicide Forest, and on the other side was the formal headquarters of the Am Shinriko terrorist cult. These were the guys that used nerve gas to carry out attacks on the Tokyo subway in 1995. Needless to say, people did not want to show up at this amusement park that sandwiched between two evils. In the middle of the theme park was a giant statue of Gulliver from the children's book Gulliver Travels. The statue is awkwardly laying down and tied down with ropes as depicted in the stories. That alone is enough to make adults uneasy and children want to stay away. Although the park was demolished in 2007, the giant Gulliver statue still haunts the area to this day. I think it's safe to say this amusement park was doomed from the start. Thanks for watching our late night top 5 video. We're a new channel and would love to have your support by subscribing, liking, or simply dropping a comment down below. To watch more interesting late night videos, click the links to continue watching more.